In this video, we will solve some real-world problems, some word problems involving similar triangles. So, for example, number seven, two ladders are leaning against a building as shown. How far up the wall does the short ladder reach? All right, so we've got um, similar triangles being formed. We can tell by the angle-angle similarity theorem. All right, we've got uh, two pairs of congruent angles. So let's get to solving. They want to know how far up the wall. So that's this length right here. All right, it's a little messy for me. Um, so let's just put an X on that. So this is what we're trying to find. Okay, um, so let's start off with the uh, corresponding sides. So the 20 and the 50 are going to be corresponding. And then on the other hand, the 40 and the X are going to be corresponding. So let's make two fractions out of those. Let's make a proportion. So let's see, I'm going to do green over green equals pink over pink. So that would be 50 over 20 is equal to 40 over x. Once you cross multiply, you have 50x is equal to, well, 2 times 4 is 8. So that should be 800. Then we're going to divide by 50 on both sides. Uh, that's going to be 16. So 16 feet. Don't forget your units. Number eight. Michelle wanted to measure the height of her school's flagpole. She placed a mirror on the ground 48 feet from the flagpole, then walked backwards until she was able to see the top of the pole in the mirror. Pachow. Her eyes were 5 feet above the ground, and she was 12 feet from the mirror. Using similar triangles, find the height of the flagpole to the nearest hundredth of a foot. That's two decimal places. So of course, the height of the flagpole would be right here. OK, um, corresponding sides. Uh, these sides would be corresponding for both triangles and these would be corresponding for both triangles. So let's go. Let's do green over green equals pink over pink. Actually, I'll start with pink over pink. So x over 5 should equal um, 48 over 12. Um, 12 times x is 12x, and then uh, 5 times 48 is 240, and then of course we're going to divide both sides by 12. Okay, 20, uh, 12 goes into 24 twice. So this should be 20 because of the extra zero. And there you have it. OK, let's look at one more example. Campsites F and G are on opposite sides of a lake. A survey crew made the measurements shown on the diagram. What is the distance between the two campsites? The diagram is not to scale. All right. Well. Like the problem said, these are the campsites on opposite sides of this lake. And we're trying to find the distance between the two campsites. So that would be x, like right here. So let's talk proportions. Now, uh, I assume that these triangles are similar, because uh, we wouldn't be able to solve the problem if they weren't. 
However, we would be poor mathematicians indeed if we just assumed that they were similar and never proved it to ourselves at least. Um, so, let's see what we have. We don't have all three sides because we don't have x. So I can't use the side, side, side uh, similarity theorem. I see that we have one angle right here that will be similar because uh, vertical angles are congruent. I shouldn't have said similar. These angles are congruent. But that's only one pair. I need one more pair of angles if I want to do angle, angle similarity. Um, but that's it. That's the only angle I have. Um, what else is there? Well. Um, there's also the side angle side similarity theorem um, which I could use if I have um, two pairs of similar uh, of proportional sides and the included angle so I've got the angle so let's see if these sides are proportional now to match these up correctly um, let's understand that between these two 92 is the biggest. Between these two, 82.8 .8 is the biggest. So this is sort of a crisscross situation, all right? It's reversed. Um, so these would be corresponding sides. Um, and these would be corresponding sides. So let's check and see if um, they are proportional. So, uh, better keep the color scheme going. So, if I do um, green over green, so that'd be 92 over 82.8, .8, what do I get? Okay, 92, 82.8, .8, 92, 82.8. Okay, I'm going to toggle it back. So that's 10 ninths. All right, so that's a scale factor of 10 over 9. Now let's see if we get the same thing from the pink numbers here. So that would be 82 over Look at that, 10 ninths. Okay, so now we know that they are in fact similar triangles by the side angle side similarity theorem. Um, but we also know uh, the scale factor is, is 10 over 9. All right, left over right. So we can go ahead and use that to find x. Okay, which I'll do over here. So. Um, left over right, we're, we're saying 10 over 9. And that should equal um, 47 over x, because we're going left over right. When you cross multiply, you're going to get 10x is equal to hmm, 47 times 9. 423 and then dividing by 10 uh, when you divide by 10 you know you just move the decimal point one over so that'll be 42.3 All right, that's going to do it for this video. All right, that was a few word problems involving similarity. I hope it was helpful. I will see you on the next video.